Hello, today I'm going to show you how to solve two equations with two unknowns. So we have to start by writing out our two equations. So these could just be any equations, but the ones I'm going to use today are 2x plus 4y equals 16 and x minus y equals 2. Okay, so it can make sense that to solve for two equations with two unknowns, we can isolate for one unknown on this side, plug it into the other one, and then um, we can find our answer. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to start by isolating for x. And we can do this on either of the two formulas, but you can see on this formula it looks a lot easier to isolate for x than that one. So if we look at this formula right here, x minus y equals 2, you can tell that x equal to plus y. Okay, so now that we have this, we can plug this back into the other formula so that we have everything in terms of y. So that would be 2 times x, and x is 2 plus y, so 2 times 2 plus y plus 4y equals 16. Okay. So now we can do distributive property here. So that would be 4 plus 2y plus 4y, 4y equals 16. These two added together. Um, 4 plus 6y equals 16. 6y equals 12y equals 2. Okay, so now that we have our y, we can plug it in again to either of the formulas. So let's use the easier formula again. So let's plug y equals 2 into this formula. So we're going to substitute everything for y. And what we have now is x minus 2 equals 2, and that would become x equals 4. So now that we found that y equals 2, x equals 4, these two numbers, 4 and 2, is really the solution set for these two equations. So the solution set for these two equations is x equals 4, y equals 2. And the way we're looking at this is two equations. But what we can really see here is that both of these equations are lines. And it doesn't look like it, but if we solve for y, you would find that this is a line y equals mx plus b. So let's use this one. Let's try to solve for y to make it into a line equation. So that'd be, let's rewrite it, 2x plus 4y equals 16. And then we have 4y equals 16 minus 2x, and then we have y equals 16 minus 2x divided by 4, and that would be y equal 4 minus 1 half x, because minus 2 divided by 4 is the same thing as minus 1 half. And this is our equation, y equals mx plus b, except that the actual equation, it has the x first, so that would be y equal negative 1 half x, plus 4. And this is our equation for this. You wouldn't think that this would turn into this. So now let's do it with the other formula. Let's make it y equals something. We have x minus y equal 2. And we want to solve for y. So what we can do in our head is to solve the sine of the sine of y so that it become positive. We can move the y over here, move the 2 over here. That would become y equals x minus 2. Okay? So these are our two formulas. y equals negative 1 half x plus 4, and y equals x minus 2. And side note, these, both of these formulas, what we're trying to do with these two solution sets, if you were to use these line equations, what you would be doing is you'd be finding the point of intersect of these two lines. So you would have two lines, one line here, one line here, well, actually not like that. Say it's like this and like this. This point right here would be x equals 4, y equals 2. And that is how you solve for two equations and two unknowns.